Now Ahab told Jezebel everything Elijah had done, how he had killed all the prophets with the sword. So Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah to say, may the gods deal with me be it ever so severely if by this time tomorrow I do not make your life like that of one of them. Elijah was afraid and ran for his life. He came to Beersheba in Judah and he left his servant there while he went on a day's journey into the wilderness. He came to a broom bush, sat down under it and prayed that he would die. I've had enough, Lord, he said. Take my life. I'm no better than my ancestors. Then he lay down under the bush and fell asleep. All at once, an angel touched him and said, get up and eat. He looked around and there by his head was some baked bread over hot coals and a jar of water. He ate and drank and then lay down again. The angel of the Lord came back a second time, touched him and said, get up and eat for the journey is too much for you. So he got up and ate and drank. Strengthened by that food, he traveled 40 days and 40 nights until he reached Horeb, the mountain of God. There he went into a cave and spent the night. And the word of the Lord came to him. What are you doing here, Elijah? He replied, I have been very zealous for the Lord God Almighty. The Israelites have rejected your covenant, torn down your altars, and put your prophets to death with the sword. I am the only one left, and now they're trying to kill me too. The Lord said, go out and stand on the mountain in the presence of the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by. Then a great and powerful wind tore the mountains apart and shattered the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, there was an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake came a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire came a gentle whisper. When Elijah heard it, he pulled his cloak over his face and went out and stood at the mouth of the cave. Then a voice said to him, what are you doing here, Elijah? He replied again that he had been very zealous and that the Israelites had torn down the altars and put the prophets to death and they were trying to kill him again. And God said, go back the way that you came, go to the desert of Damascus. When you get there, anoint Hazael as the king over Aram, anoint Jehu, the king over Israel, and anoint Elisha to succeed you as the prophet. So up to this point, God has really shown up for Elijah, feeding him with the birds and really winning at the altar showdown. But now that Jezebel has said, Elijah, I'm gonna make sure you die. Well, now he's on the run. He runs and he runs and he runs and he flees. Then he says, it would be better if I were just to die Angel gives him food, because God is still with him. And then he hides in a cave. And God comes and says, Elijah, what are you doing? What are you doing? So he says, well, I'm the last person that believes in you. And it's just not going to be great. So I'm hiding, you know. And God has a plan, right? He has kings set up ready to be anointed to take over Israel, right? Jehu is going to become the next king. God's got it all under control. And when he chose to talk to Elijah, he wasn't in the big wind or the fire or the earthquake. He was in a still, small voice. You can't hear a still small voice if you're listening to lies or the noise of the world. You have to be intentional about listening to God's voice, choosing to sit and hear it. You have to be intentional about trusting that God's got it all under control. He sees the bigger picture. And you have to be intentional about passing on what you know to somebody else. So that's where we end off today. This question, I guess, could be posed to you. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you hiding from God? Are you sitting waiting for some big sign? 
Are you intentionally seeking out God's still small voice in your life? And are you passing on what you know to somebody else? Are you in hiding, waiting, or are you ready to do the work of God? I hope you'll join me for another week as we continue with the Elijah series next Sunday. Have a great week.